Hello students, welcome to Show of Cell Classes. My name is Professor Himad Ridatta. So far we have been discussing about ISLM models. We have formed the IS curve, the LM curve, then we have gone to contractionary fiscal policy, contractionary monetary policy, expansionary fiscal policy, and expansionary monetary policy. In today's discussion, we'll be talking about the slope of ISLM curve when it is the case of classical economics. In classical economics, slope of LM curve is always vertical because classical economists believe that the money demand only depends on transaction. It does not depend on the speculative part. So the very basic of this LM curve is that it does not depend on there is no relationship between R and Y so the LM curve is always constant so in case of classical economics this is known as classical LM the LM curve is given by this and the IS curve is similar that is IES which is equals to Y equals to C plus I plus G. This is the IES curve and this is the LM curve in case of classical economics. Now, what is the slope of LM curve here? Today's discussion will start with classical LM curve and will proceed further to variety of slopes that we can incorporate in case of LM curve and IES curve. And what is slope? of AS and I LM. Now here as you can see the LM curve is vertically slope a straight line it means that the LM curve is ineffective that is the elasticity of LM curve is perfectly inelastic that is it is perfectly inelastic there is no relationship between Y and R even if you increase the money supply, the LM curve will remain at this level. So, this is called the LM curve to be an inelastic LM curve. Or to be more accurate, we will call it perfectly inelastic. Stick LM curve. Now, similarly, we can draw a variety of IS curve, but here we'll just demonstrate difference between the flatter and steeper IS curve. See, this IS curve is steeper and another IS curve is flatter. IS curve basically shows the relationship between income and interest rate. We already know it. Now, this flatter IS curve means the in elasticity is more, that is, it is more elastic. So, when the IS curve is flatter, we call it, it is more elastic. And when the IS curve is steeper, We say the IS curve is less elastic. What is the concept behind it? See, when R falls on this flatter IS curve, from R0 to R1, the increase in Y is this much. Now, say, in this case, the increase in Y is this much. So, when it is more elastic, in case of flatter elastic curve, IS curve, you see a decrease in R causes an increase in Y, which is more than, which is in the case of steeper IS curve. So, what we are talking about here, that is the IS curve is flatter, one IS curve is flatter, another is steeper. So, in case of flatter IS curve, when interest rate falls, the income rises more than what it is in the case of a steeper IS curve. So, this is the elasticity of IS curve. 
the same thing goes for LM curve as well. So this is the slope of IS and LM and the slope of IS curve, usual IS curve can be equationally written as dr by dy equals to s dash y i dash r and this is for is and for lm it would be dr by dy equals to l1 dash y by l2 dash r minus so this is the slope of lm curve this is the slope of is curve so today we have been talking about the slope of IS and LM and when they are flat and when they are steeper. Now, so if you have any query or doubts or any suggestion, please WhatsApp us on this number 9836-793076 or, or you can also watch similar videos on www.showofsirclasses.com or you can WhatsApp me on this number thank you for watching today's video in the next video we will talk about the aggregate demand curve and how do we derive aggregate demand curve from islm model thank you